The Lockheed AH-56 Cheyenne served as a specially designed attack helicopter, created to fulfill the specific requirements of the U.S. Army for their initial dedicated attack helicopter. This endeavor aimed to produce an advanced helicopter design. In 1966, Lockheed secured a contract for the production of 10 prototype helicopters designated for testing and evaluation purposes. The AH-56S design was notably futuristic, pioneering, and ambitious for its era. The helicopter conducted its maiden flight in 1967. The Cheyenne showcased remarkable performance and formidable firepower. However, due to technical issues, excessive weight, cost escalations, and shifts in military strategy, the AH-56 Cheyenne project was terminated in 1972. The Cheyenne adopted a Lockheed rotor system, a tail-mounted pusher propeller, and a conventional tail rotor. The tail section was positioned downwards. Short wings provided substantial lift and high speeds, classifying the Cheyenne within the compound helicopter category. The aircraft was propelled by a single General Electric T-64 GE-16 engine. The majority of the engine's power was allocated to the pusher propeller during flight, with only 20 to 25 percent directed to the main rotor. This configuration enabled a top speed of around 390 km per hour, achievable at exceptionally low altitudes. Presently, such a design remains predominantly confined to experimental helicopters. Equipped with cutting-edge tow-wire guided anti-tank missiles of its time, the Cheyenne was armed. The helicopter featured wing hardpoints capable of carrying six of these missiles. Additionally, it was armed with a 30mm cannon mounted on its side, capable of effectively engaging lightly armored vehicles. The AH-56S nose-mounted turret was outfitted with a 7.62mm minigun or, alternatively, a 40mm grenade launcher. The aircraft was also capable of carrying pods containing 70mm unguided rockets. Internal hardpoints could accommodate extra fuel tanks for extended operational range. Manned by a crew of two, the AH-56 boasted an expansive transparent canopy that provided exceptional all-around visibility for both the pilot and gunner. The pilot was also capable of operating all of the helicopter's weaponry. Advanced fire control and navigation systems were integrated into the helicopter's design. In 1972, the U.S. Army initiated a fresh program for a more conventional attack helicopter. This initiative culminated in the development of the AH-64 Apache, which entered active service in 1986. In the interim, the AH-1 Cobra was utilized as an attack helicopter. Eventually, the experimental Piasecki X-49A Speedhawk with a pusher propeller was created. This conceptual aircraft conducted its inaugural flight in 2007 and aimed to test maximum speed and potential payload capacity enhancements.